so far, and you got one to go with Hot Dice in the upcoming 12th, a uh, third start uh, for this one this year, coming off a win at Pocono. And uh, any reason that she got to the race is a little late. Yeah, she had some splints bothering her. Uh, we uh, tried to do some other uh, work to her, and that didn't help. And so we ended up freezing her, and now it seemed to have uh, deadened them. So hopefully that's going to cure it for, for the season. If they come back afterwards, who cares? But hopefully it, it works out, and she can go on and have a good season. Morning Line has her at 5-1, uh, to one and she got the outside post. Uh, you think she's the one to beat? I think so. If she behaves herself, she can be the one to beat, I think. Any more stake uh, race action in this Little Phillies uh, schedule, summer schedule? Yeah, she got some stakes coming up. Uh, Springfield, uh, is, uh, the review is coming. And uh, either go to Poconos for the sire stakes. So it's going to be a toss-up between the two. And uh, we see what happens tonight, and that will determine where we go. Now, off tonight's race card, I wanted to know what it felt like uh, being be being uh, in the lead at the Hambo last year with uh, legendary Lover K. Well, it really felt great. Just being in the race was a great thing, you know, and didn't have the lead that far into it and uh, hope that you can salvage something out of it, uh, which we didn't, and uh, that's okay. But we give it our shot, and uh, we did our best. So I was very happy with it. Well, thanks for sharing that, and good luck with that hot dice. Let's hope to see you in the winner's circle again here this evening. Thank you very much. It's all from the horseman's mouth. Roger, back to you. Thank you, Kerry. Dwayne Miner and whole family kind of involved in harness racing as well. His brother also uh, uh, trains horses 